Good day to everyone. It is Friday, March 15th, 2024, and it's eh, semi decent day out. Cloudy, kind of, there's a little bit of blue sky over there by the building there, behind the building. Still no snow. Temperature today, the highs are supposed to be in the upper 40s to low 50s, so kind of chilly. That's why I'm wearing my uh, Jacksonville Jaguars hoodie. Got to take the trash out. Trash was full this morning. And then I'm going to take a walk. And today's walk is just going to be a leisurely, uh, not trying to set a pace or anything. I just I want to enjoy the outside. And I've decided that I'm going to try to walk Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. Try to stick to that schedule and get some exercise. First things first, got to take the trash out. It really is a nice day today. Little, little cool, but great day for a walk. I passed a couple a little while ago walking their dog. The guy was wearing a Brewers uh, hoodie. He says, ah, oh, another Jaguars fan I see. That makes two of us. I said, that's awesome. It's, it's good to be a Jaguars fan. I say this after every walk. It's always a good thing to have some water after the walk. Not a bad little walk, 2.45 miles. The only bad thing is that it didn't register the first loop. It didn't start recording. The the Map My Walk app didn't. It glitched. It didn't start recording till partway through my walk already. Now it's time for a good breakfast. I just wanted to share a little personal collection victory I had recently. Uh, last night, y'all know I play Neopets. Uh, been playing for over 20 years now on my account. I have a, uh, a gallery set up for that showcases all the advent calendar items that have been released since 2000. Neopoint items. I don't do uh, the NC Mall. I don't pay cash for items. So some of those items are missing, but last night I spent about three and a half million Neo points and finished up my advent calendar collection from 2000 till uh, this past year, 2023. I'm very excited. I just wanted to kind of show y'all. Here's my, my gallery in uh, Terra Mountain, that world on Neopets. Got it broken up into three year uh, blocks, three-year categories, and the one I had to finish up today, or last night, was the 2015 to 2017. I finally have every Neopoint Advent Calendar item that was released in that year. That completed my entire Neopoint Advent Calendar collection. I'm very excited to have everything. All right, one of the things I really enjoy doing, like my hobbies, uh, I love to read. Right now, I'm reading Congo by Michael Crichton. Uh, Michael Crichton is one of my favorite all-time authors. And uh, I just, I really enjoy most of his books that he's written. Uh, this particular one is a really good, really good story that was made into a movie. Uh, a lot of his books actually have been made into movies. Deep in the heart of the darkest region of the Congo, near the legendary ruins of the lost city of Zinj, an eight-person field expedition dies mysteriously and brutally in a matter of minutes. There's some uh, gorilla-human hybrids that uh, attack them as they're in the jungle in the Congo looking for uh, special diamonds for their company. Michael Crichton is one of my favorite authors. Uh, he also did a very well-known story uh, that many people know and lots of movies have been made. Jurassic Park. Love this book. The book is much better than the movie, which I do have the movie as well. I love the movie, but 
the book is probably ten times better. Then I also have the the Lost World. All good stories. I didn't get to go see Jurassic Park in the theaters when it came out, but I was in sixth grade, and we were doing a special special unit in science class. We got to watch that on a Friday in school, in science class. That was really cool. I'd like to know if y'all have a favorite author like I do in Michael Crichton. Today's Christian faith message comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 19 through 21. I'm going to read it. This is coming out of the NIV version. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. It's easy to get caught up in the world's mentality that money trumps everything. You need you need lots of money. You need lots of trinkets and collectibles. And even I take part in some of that. I do it for fun. If I lose that collection, I could care less. If I give it away, I could care less. I don't value. I don't value money. I don't care about money. I know it's needed in the world to function and, and survive. I don't care about money. That's the way it should be. Instead of saving up things that, like the Bible verse says, can be stolen, can, can be lost, you can't take it with you when you die. What's the point of having all this stuff when you pass away? You can't take it with you. Money is the root of all evil in this world. That is also stated in the Bible. So why not, instead of collecting things that that mean absolutely nothing, they give you a they give you a false sense of status and, and in society and the world makes makes you think that the more money you have, the the better off you are, the better you are than other people. It's pointless. There is no moral backing behind that mentality. So why not instead store up your treasures in heaven? Your good deeds, your kindness, your love, your compassion, your willingness to help others without your thinking about your personal gain. Those are treasures in heaven. Those are treasures from your heart where the Holy Spirit dwells. That is what we need to strive for is not these pointless treasures on earth, but our godly treasures in heaven. That is your Christian faith message for today and this vlog. Be kind to each other. Be true to yourself and others, and God bless everyone out there. I'll see you all tomorrow.